we're going. Another edition of Riding Home. This is an away an away car situation. We are delivering uh, the the books to all of the boys and girls who've been very good this off season. Ryan, you know we got to talk to Kendall Milton today for a while. Looks really good. Uh, we're still waiting on Andrew Paul to come back from injury. Kirby said that he was further along. Well, he said today that. He was about like Nick Chubb was heading into 2016. I think if Georgia can get from Paul what they got from Chubb in 16, they'd be ecstatic. Uh, these running backs, you know, look legit. And of course, you've got, uh, oh man, Branson Robinson, you've got Edwards. They've got some guys. Your comments from today with, uh, with Kendall. Well, look, there are a little you know, there are fewer than 200, a little fewer than 200. Throwing the fewer out there. There we go. We're really getting on to it today. Uh, Kenny McIntosh had about 200 touches when you add together the rushing okay. and the receiving. Yeah. And I think he's going to go down as one of the most underrated running backs in Georgia history. Okay. I think he was really important to la to just the program the last few years. That being said, there are, there are many touches to go around now. And for Kendall, it's year four. You're a senior. You, there was a lot of hype around you. Um, we've seen flashes, and I thought that he improved towards the end of the season last oh, year. I thought he sure. got better as the year went on, as he got healthier. For sure. It, I mean, it, you could be the RB1. You could be – it will always probably from now on be a rotation. I don't know when the next time we'll see a star really take over the backfield. In this league? I mean, it, Swift is the last one they kind of had. Yeah. It was just yeah. clearly yeah. like yeah. it's Swift's backfield. Yeah. Um, so – and even that wasn't – it wasn't to the level of Nick and Sony or to Todd or even Isaiah Correll where he was he was your guy. But you can be the main guy. Kenny McIntosh was clearly the main guy last year. Uh, the only thing I really worry about with this room is how much they really – I mean, like, they really used Kenny a lot in the passing game. And it was an extension of their run game. Are these guys fluid. going to do – are they as fluid – they're just not. Now, that doesn't mean that they can't be effective in the passing game. Um, but for Kendall, staying healthy is, I think, the most important thing for him. You know, it feels like there's always kind of a minor injury going on. Um, but if he can stay healthy, I mean, he's a bruiser. Yeah, he's a lot of trouble for sure because when he gets going, he – I mean, I, when, I, I saw Kendall in California – uh, back in the day, and have, I've not seen him in person a lot without pads on. And today I got a really good look at him. As you know, he's certainly more mature physically, etc., than he was even back then. And uh, his thing today, it, which is to say, he's a very impressive physical person. He talked today about coming back to Georgia. He wants to graduate from Georgia. Smart. Uh, that family does not play around about. Uh, goals, aspirations, and expectations. Um, I have, and you know, and I, you and I have talked about this a lot privately. Uh, I felt like Kendall can really be a big deal. The question is, you know, can he stay healthy? And that's that's one thing that Kendall talked about a lot. Hey, real quick, just real quick. If you don't order double dogs by the time you're watching this video, in other words, if it's 11.59 at night on Wednesday night and you've not yet ordered it, if you don't order it in the next minute, you're out. You're not getting confetti. So you can, that's great. I mean, it's okay. You can order the book and, and you know, Kendall's in there too, but we're, we're, we're wrapping that part up. So order it now. But I think that for Kendall, um, he could be a really scary back in the SEC. That is totally not out of the realm of possibility. I mean, he's he a big back, healthy. man. He's a big back that he has to stay. He healthy. does have breakaway speed. He actually, he, he does. He actually does. It's yeah. not. It's not lightning, but it's it's fast enough for a guy his size. I think the thing that's shown, and I'll let you talk after this, is the the part of Kendall that's not a lot of fun is third and fourth quarter Kendall uh, Milton. Uh, Auburn yeah. saw that in twenty one. Uh, I think it was. Auburn's just seen that. It's not great to deal with. Uh, I can't wait to hear people chirp about the, the holding of the camera. Like, this is some easy feat. You don't know what we're going through. I know. We, just, we, we do I a mean, lot of just a whole random thing. stuff. Anyway, uh, and, maybe, and maybe that's the way we are about the program. I don't know. I don't know what they do. I don't know what they go through. But for Kendall Milton, I think this is a great opportunity for him. And he... Of all of the guys, he is the most likely 
physically, in terms of prototypical, he's the most likely to really have a good season. Doesn't mean it's going to happen. Doesn't mean he's going to be the number one. Well, let's just see what the other guys are like. But I, I think he, I, I know he has the capability to be scary. Let's see what happens. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I don't think it's out of the question at all that he become a breakout player in the league. But I thought that could have been the case this past year. And he was just sort of getting past stuff. And I, I just think straight to the chase, he needs a good solid season to prove to the NFL, no, man, I'm not brittle. I just play in a really tough league. Yeah, the, it, the opportunity is there. Um, he could totally be one of the best running backs in this. I mean, is there? I mean, the the league's losing a couple really good backs. Yeah. Jameer Gibbs, Kenny yeah. McIntosh. There's more. I just can't think off the top of my head. Well, the kid at uh, Arkansas, I think. Is Arkansas, good. I think is, he's returning. Ole Miss's yeah, running back is now. returning. He's returning at Ole Miss. Um, so there are some really good running backs in this league, and Kendall Vaughn could be one of them. Uh, I think that you kind of know what you have in Dejan Edwards. He's he's just kind of a, a a little bruiser, a guy. He could he might end up being the closer. In those well, they big both moments. can be. I they both can be, hard. and I think we've both seen them score clutch touchdowns. Right? I mean, yeah. Missouri, they were the two guys that had the the rushing touchdowns. I think Dejan was the one that punched in that last one. Yep. I, I'm really excited about the next step for Branson Robinson. I think that if there's someone in that room that is going to be the next star running back, I think it'll be him after maybe these two guys leave. Uh, but they're they're all three there right now, and I think it's a good three-headed monster. I, I do think you're going to miss Kenny McIntosh more than what people realize. In that style, like, for it, sure. It's, it's going – it's going to – Georgia's office is going to look different this year. It just right. is. There's different personnel, and there is – a different offensive coordinator. It's not going to be the exact same thing. I don't know how different it's going to look, but I don't think we're going to see as much of that quick side-to-side -side passing as we did all those rollouts. I, I just think it's going to change, and part of that is Stetson Bennett not being there, right. Todd Munkin not being there, Kenny McIntosh not being there. Those three guys, as far as that aspect of the playbook go, it's different people in those positions so it's going to be different i think you're going to see a little bit more pounding it up the middle style running just because these are three really physical runners and not to say that kenny wasn't because he had his moments but these are three backs that are considered really physical backs kenny shined in space where i think Mil Mil what you saw with, K uh, with milton whether it's the tcu game or the tech game or you know whatever is he he can really hurt you at any moment uh, with a physical style of running. Sky is legit. And I think if we get 15-ish games from Kendall Milton... 15-ish? Well, I don't think <laughs> running backs got to really go the whole game. So that's what I mean by that is, you know, if he doesn't play against, I don't know, enter the name of it, then you're okay. Or if he has, you know, two quarters against somebody, whoever that, whoever that somebody may be. I'm okay with that, uh, but he's a really gifted runner. Hey, we don't want to forget our bag of destiny. Very quickly, Ryan, very uh, quickly. I know, it's hard. Grab it, what's at the top? Well, we got the trucker hat. No, we already Again, did the trucker hat. We did hat. the trucker hat in a previous oh, video. Fell. Here's the bag of destiny. Well, you we have, have a pennant. You have one hand, that's and your we're problem. gonna try to. So we're gonna park in a second here. So you have one hand and you're showing off this the link is below. Being strategic about this. Look at you. And it's a back-to-back -back pennant that you, you can get grab. Quiet. It's a really neat, uh, I think it would be a very good birthday gift for all of them. But you can hear the, the, the books in the background, which thankfully the vast majority of folks who have ordered, that's come and gone now. But I, I, I think for Kindle, they're going for it again. We're right? going, if you wanted a side trucker look, that's, that's an option. Here, let's see that. That's pennant. not for me. Let's see that pennant one more time. We now that we're parked. Here. So this is our friends at Red Zone have got this ready for you. Whenever you're ready. Uh oh. Whenever we're live, we're still going. We're doing it live. Whenever you're ready, maybe you can find your bag of destiny at Red Zone. Um, all those books, man. Yeah, that's about about 600 maybe books total total. Um, but what do you what do you think? What should we really expect from these backs? this season what are we what are we talking about at the end of the day i think that i mean kendall's i mean excuse me kenny's gone that's not gonna yeah, happen again 
I think that they will collectively as a group rush for more yards. I think that they're I think they're going to be more rushing attempts you, this you season. You lose Stetson, you know. Um, well, that's also a lot of QB carries. He had Ted rushing that's touchdowns. I don't think if it's Carson Beck, or I, we keep speaking with the assumption that Carson Beck's going to be the starter. It's just what we, we think. We don't know. We don't know. But if it's Carson, Carson Beck's not going to have ten rushing touchdowns. That that no. would really surprise me. If it's Brock, he huh. might have more than that. Yeah, right? It just depends on how game. they run this Completely offense. Different ball game. So I think it does depend a little bit on that because it's you know different style quarterbacks. I don't think they're super similar quarterbacks, but I think you're going to see Georgia run early and often. I mean, it's. Is the offensive line going to be worse or better? You're, no, you're it, replacing both your tackles. I think, if anything, it's slightly worse. Well, I think it's about the same. But I would suggest it's the Cedric same. Cedric Van Pran, and you you have two guards returning, and you have Cedric Van Pran. Then you have I mean, the four, you four five guys who started in the playoffs are are back. Yeah, so I, I think that, that matters. I think they're going to be successful on the ground. I think they're going to run the football more. This, this time is this around. is Mike Bobo here. Yeah, and so Kirby it, Smart. So they're going to try to slash your ass. I, and I'll tell you that right now. I think they're going to pound it more. I, I think the offense is not going to be drastically different, but you're going to be able to notice, well, eh, But it, well, one one other thing real quick, though. If you are that way, Carson's, Carson, Brock, whoever the quarterback is, they're going to have to really – they're going to have to get it done when they got to get it done. If you're going to be that style – you got to. You're going to have to convert when it's. When it's time third to and six, you're right. going to have to hit that strike across the middle, you're man. You're going to have to do it after but. you know. I, I saw some Mike Bobo jokes, and I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure how accurate they are. They were like, run, run, third and six pass. I don't know. It was, it was I like, mean, I, I think if you don't like scoring points, Mike Bobo is probably not your guy. Yeah, man. They were putting up 40 I mean, a game in 2012. If you, if so. you just want to shit on Mike, that's fine. I don't. Whatever. I will be critical of Mike when it's appropriate to. We're not. We're not just. We're not just going to do this stupid stuff about you know the draw. And those draws scored a lot of points at the end of the day. But that's another discussion. Look, it's a different offense with a lot more weapons than there were back weapons. then, and some of those weapons are the running backs. So I, it's going to be different. Uh, I, this is the. Mo I mean, twenty twenty. The last time there was this the, much uncertainty this heading the season. This offensive line is not in the same universe. Oh, it's way better. The it's way better than it was ten years ago. These are ago. different types of players. Those guys, Cablano, John Theus, uh, and David Andrews, these guys were athletic. They were not maulers. These guys that are at Georgia now, they're going to maul your ass, and it's going to be a problem. I mean, I'm just going to tell you that right now. we got to drop these books off. Thanks for watching.